Well, thought I'd share some of the uh, mechanical mounting parts on my box. You can see I got the, uh, the switches along the bottom. I got my 50 amp ammeter in the center and I've got my trimetric battery uh, monitor on the top. Inside you can see we just have the parts uh, cut out and mounted and I have a bus bar on the bottom here on the main core side of the box and a bus bar on the top fuse holder positive bar positive post negative post and the shunt the idea is we're gonna bring the PV uh, wires in the grounds will go to the this ground bus bar on the solar side positive leads will come over and then individually feed these six switches <coughs> and if I flip the switch up it'll connect the middle to the bottom and that'll then be connected the bot all the bottoms will be tied to this positive bus bar and so what that means is any of the current going to this bar is going to feed the uh, charge controller. So I'm going to come and take the positive current that builds up on this bus bar, <clears throat> feed it up to the ammeter. So the ammeter is reading how much of the solar current is going to go to the charge controller. Come out of there, up and then <clears throat> down to the uh, charge controller, which is a separate box. Now if the switches, switches are down, then Again, you can have certain ones down, certain ones up. If the switch is down, then that'll connect the middle to the top. <clears throat> and then those wires will individually come off of here. So there'll be six wires coming off around this hinge point and then out to the grid tie inverters like they currently are. So that would be connected like they currently are basically. But this will give me the ability to select which solar panels I'm going to use for charging my batteries and which ones I'm going to use to feed the grid because there are some times where the sun is such that I want to manually kind of control how much is going to be going to the battery versus how much is going to the grid. <clears throat> so anyway let's assume we we've got that part figured out. I come back from the charge controller per our diagram we go through this uh, fuse low below fuse and down to this positive bus bar. The battery cable from the battery bank will come up also to this positive bus bar. The negative from the battery will come up to this shunt. Then the other side of the shunt is the major ground which will also be tied to this major ground which is where the charge controller ground comes in as well as the inverters come in. And there'll be a few small wires going over across this bridge over to over through the hinge here over to the uh, trimetric electronics but that's about it so I just want to share some of the mounting aspects and uh, show you what it looks like before it uh, gets filled with the wiring so that's the next step Talk to you later.